Here's your killer chart, I think. This is that chart I, I think I would like dog ear or maybe pull out of the presentation and hold on to. This basically looks over time back um, since 10, and it shows the growth rate in brick and mortar versus e-commerce. And if we look at the actually very high expectations out there right now for comp, and we look at that mid-teens growth rate in e-com, that's, that just keeps on going. And the mean reversion with where retail sales are ultimately going, I could argue it does go lower. You see that slope down there, it's that blue line in the highlighted red area, which is your brick and mortar. So we are at peak right now, like at this minute, as far as where brick and mortar is relative to e-com. And now we see a slowdown in e-com, I'm sorry, a slowdown in brick and mortar. And you can argue that with the exception of a, a, a huge, huge economy, we get we are at a point where brick and mortar will actually never grow again, like ever, um, which I think is a massive statement. Am I missing anything there, Jeremy? I, mean, I know you spent a boatload of time on this analysis. No, I just say it's very kind of conservative. We're just keeping the you know the two-year growth rate of of retail at that same steady rate, which is actually relatively high. It's accelerated over the last six months. So we're not assuming any sort of deterioration in two years. If you get that, uh, you'll have even more downside in terms of how much flow through to the, to the brick and mortar retailers. Right, and this flows right in through the back half of this year, all the way through 2019. So big theme next year too.